you guys welcome to a live makeup class i know it looks kind of empty in here we're in the process of moving right now so that's why it looks very very empty <laughs> i hope you all are doing really really good um let me make sure that the lights and everything are okay here i feel like it's been a while since i have um done a live with you all we're gonna move that hair out of the way um so i'm really excited to see you guys i don't know why the light is so crappy today think because it's smoky out here in Washington it's really really bad there's so many fires on the west coast right now and it's so smoky here I would show you guys outside but I don't want anyone to know where I'm at <laughs> hi Erica hi Penny hi luxury bliss with Susan <laughs> nice to see you guys so I'm going to do a class today I think what I'm going to do is I will get right into the makeup for you guys and then at the end, we'll hang out. We'll ask. We'll talk about makeup. We'll talk about life in general, just because I know some of you guys want to get right to the makeup. So I feel bad. I don't want everyone to sit here and go through all of us chit chatting and stuff. But I will say hi. Baby's doing good, Lily. She's um with um she's actually taking a nap right now, and Daddy's watching her. So Mama get a break to do some makeup. <laughs> hi from Tennessee, Clarice. Nice to see you guys. I've missed you a lot. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to do customized lashes. So let me pull out and show you guys all of the lashes that I have. I organized my entire um, makeup set. So I'll try to do a video on that as well. But I have all of my lashes in these kind of cool cases here. So I've got all of those there. So we're going to kind of go through some of them. I'm going to show you how to customize them. And um, I have two. <laughs> two sets of lashes. I got all those guys too. So woo! lashes flying everywhere. So I'm going to show you how to kind of make them more natural and thin them out a little bit. And so that way, um, if you guys don't like the super dramatic glam lashes, but you want to have something natural for everyday wear, that would be perfect to do. So we're going to do a little makeup first, and then we're going to do some lashes. So let's get to it. I'm going to fix my brows. As you can see here, I have been loving the Senna Sketch of Brows lately. It's been really, really nice. My brows are not great today. It's not a good brow day. You know how sometimes you have a good a good makeup day or a good skin day? Today is not one of those days. <laughs> Anyways, baby's doing good. Hi from Barcelona. Baby's four months old now. I'm so upset because she's growing so fast. I can't believe it. It's so crazy. <laughs> Hi, Britt. How are you? Nice to see you. Okay, so I'm going to start with a fall palette today. This is the Makeup Geek Fall Harvest one. It's a limited edition. We only have so many. Once it sells out, that's it. So it's a Fall Harvest one here, and it has some really pretty colors in there with some greens, some plums, a nice pretty gold, a shimmery, like, very soft kind of olivey green in there. So this is our palette that I'm going to use today. I want to do something just very natural, very easy, because I'm kind of overdoing the, um, you know, over intense colorful look. So anyways, I'm going to use a Wayne Goss brush today. This is the 26S, so hopefully, hi, hi, Wayne, hopefully he sees what I'm, I love his brushes. He finally launched synthetic ones, so I was so excited, and I bought some of them, and it's amazing. I've been using this brush nonstop, so this is Wayne's brush. Um, I'm going to go in with Aphrodite, which is this dark kind of plummy brown here, and I think what I'm going to do, I did not practice this look, so if it turns out like crap, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's what you guys get to see life. You never know what you get with lives. Life, what is it the Forrest Trump saying? Or Forrest uh, Gump? Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. So hang on, folks. We're going in. <laughs> I'm going to kind of do um, just a smoky eye look right here. And I'm just going to blend this out. Don't worry if it looks a little messy right now because we're going to clean it up just a little bit. I want it to be very non-structured if that makes sense so i know this looks kind of crazy right now but we're gonna keep blending it so this is aphrodite oh so nice to see everyone just talking and chilling on here i hope everyone gets to just relax today have fun with makeup because that's what it's all about i'm gonna try to do i'm just gonna ask you guys to i'm gonna clean up under here because i got a little messy i was busy talking what you can do too, let me show you guys if you make a mistake or if you get a little sloppy down here, which I did. You can take just kind of a dome brush, and I've done this trick a few different times. You can take some concealer, or you can take um, foundation. I like using foundations because it's easy. So you just take a little bit on there, and you can just go over it with a little bit of foundation or concealer and just clean it right up. 
See how nice and crisp that gets it? So if you guys ever want to do kind of a cat eye shape, but you don't want to use tape, you can kind of do it like that. And it cleans it up for you. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to bring the color out here because I want kind of a, I don't know, an extended eye shape going on. So that's why I'm doing that. And I'm just kind of blending it softly like this. So this is Aphrodite. It's kind of a plummy brown color. Let's take this one. I'm so sorry about my lighting today. Usually my lighting's really good by the window here. And I think just because the smoke, it's like looking really drab and gray. I don't know what's going on. So we're just going to extend this out. Uh, Tanya said she bought some stuff from Marste sale. I think we have just a little bit more left. So if you guys want some good high quality clothes that are made in the U.S. ethically made, it's more stay fashion. Um, there's not a ton left because you guys all bought it up. <laughs> I had to snatch what I needed. I was like calling my team. I was like, you got any more of the t-shirts left? Give me a few t-shirts. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to bring this down here. And we're going to warm this up too, but I just want to get this going. Again, bring out that shape. And I'm going on the brow bone right here. Do you guys see how my brow bone is kind of sticking out? That's how I know that's how far up I want to go. But it depends on your eye shape. And we're just going to do it like that. And then let's, um, let's actually do warm up the crease a little bit. And then we'll clean up under the eyes. So I'm going to go in with this kind of soft brown color here. This is Cabin Fever. And it looks like that. It's just a nice kind of warm brown it's not too too orange though it's a really good kind of warmish neutral i guess you could say it's not super orange but it is warm so we're just going to put this here too just like that just to bring up this color up here and see how i'm just doing blending motions like this just to kind of blend it out the palette should be available in Germany. Someone's asking fairly soon. We're actually finding a um, re retailer. I think it's Purish that we're going to be working with. So we will keep you guys updated. It should be available in Germany pretty soon. So we'll definitely announce it so that way you guys can be updated on it. Okay, I know this looks sloppy for now, but give me a minute to kind of clean everything up. So I'm doing Cabin Fever. I'm coming pretty far up here because I want that color to really be visible when my eyes are open. So I'm bringing it up like that. And then I'm wiping off the brush and I'm gonna go into Peach Smoothie. The Matrix palettes, you guys, should be in stock in a couple weeks. I'm telling you, it's been brutal this year with COVID and the labs because they were behind. We have product that we had placed POs for in January that we are just now getting. It's been crazy because all the labs are behind. They're not at full capacity. And then everyone was shut down for quite a bit in, um, when was it? Like May, April, May, and some even June. So they're just now getting back to production and everyone's waiting for their stuff. So I'm so sorry, you guys. It should be here soon. We, we're getting more product next week. I think we're supposed to get it on Tuesday, but I don't know if it's all the shades. Okay, so that's what I'm doing there. Now let's clean up under the eyes again, and I'm going to extend it out. Let's actually choose a different brush shape. I'm going to use a brush like this so when I go to clean up under the eyes, I can drag it out and clean this up and give it more of a kind of cat eye shape. So I'm going to take my concealer or foundation and just picking up a little bit on that brush. And sometimes what I like to do if I don't want a lot of coverage, I can put it on the back of my hand just to make sure there's um, no excess on there. And then just clean it up like that and drag it out. Do you see how it fix the shape? It kind of cleans up under here. I even go on top of the cheekbones too to kind of clean up any powder that may have fallen and all of that. Super, super easy. It's just all about blending and just dragging that shape out. So let's do the other side. Hi, Glamourie from Maryland. <laughs> so nurses, says, don't apologize. It's how the world is right now. You guys, 2020, I'm telling you, we almost evacuated. I'll tell you as I keep doing makeup, we were on evacuation notice and we had our bags packed on Wednesday. Today's Sunday. And because uh, we had fires coming up really close to our house, we were out of power. 
um for a couple days we had no cell reception which was so scary because it's like you don't know if you have to evacuate but you have no cell reception no internet so we have no idea what's going on so we're like okay do we just leave now are they gonna knock on our doors are they gonna like let us know what's going on <laughs> so okay so someone's asking what foundation i'm using this is my favorite right now it's the derma blend one it's the Flawless Creator. I really, really like this one because it's it's very pigmented though. So be careful because it is super, super saturated. Okay, so I'm going to clean up in here just a little bit like that. I think I want to keep the eyes mostly matte, but I'm going to put a little shimmer in here. So that's where I'm going to go in with the foiled shadow here. If you want to add some green, you can do that too. This is the color Thrive. That's what that looks like. It's really pretty. Let's actually put some green under here. Let's try it. So I'm going to switch to like kind of a pencil brush. This is the MAC 219 brush. It looks dirty, I know. <laughs> Hi, Chris from Texas. So I'm going to go in with this green color and just put a bit under here. Just to kind of add a pop of color. Just like that. Once I put the liner on and all that, that'll kind of um, clean up everything as well. There we go. I keep that brush with the concealer on it just in case I need to touch up a little bit more. Okay, then if you want a little pop of um, shimmer in here, you can. It's optional if you guys want to do that. So I'm going to do this color here. It's Legend, and it's a foil color, so it's really, really metallic. It's really pretty. Let me swatch it for you guys so you can see. That's on dry skin, no primer, really, really pretty. I love our foils, they're so beautiful. So I'm gonna take that same brush, just a small kind of dome brush, and we're just gonna put a little bit right here. Just for a little pop of color, like that. I've had the, uh, <laughs> I've been playing with my daughter, and for whatever reason, I've had the chicken dance song in my head. Dun -dun 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 I don't know why it's playing in my head right now. It's just so annoying. Once it gets in your head, it's like, that's it. It's been going in my head for days. For days. It's so annoying. <laughs> uh, I'm from Pakistan. So cool. What time is it there in Pakistan? Oh, and from Ukraine. Hey, what time is it in Ukraine? You guys must be up super late. Okay. So that's kind of the look that I want to do. I want it to be very not structured. I want it to be very... Just easy, not a lot of color, just a little bit of green, gold. That's kind of what I'm feeling. Okay, are you guys ready to customize some lashes? Let's do it. <laughs> okay, so let me pull out some different ones. Um, let's try, I've got, let's see what I have here. Hold on. Okay, so I have Charmer that looks like these for Makeup Geek. And then I have some of the faux mink ones, which are a lot fuller. Like there's Ava, um, what else do we have? Isabella. So what I'm going to show you is how to customize them and thin them out if you want them to feel more natural. This is Isabella. You guys can see those. So what I like to do, let's take Isabella because I really like these. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with these. So all you guys need is some scissors and some tweezers. Okay, so I'm going to pull off the lashes. And first off, we're going to measure them against the eye. So all you have to do for strip lashes is kind of place them and figure out how you need to cut some of them. So see how they're too long? So I'm going to cut off about that much right there. So we're going to do that. My daughter's name is Ava. Uh, I almost, I, that was on the list for my daughter too. Ava was one of them. I really liked that name. What else did we have? But we kind of knew, I mean, Autolina was always the top pick because that was, has a special meaning for us. Okay, let's see what these look like. Yeah, we can cut a little bit more. Let's cut just a little bit more. Okay, so now what you guys can do, look how glam these are, which still are really pretty. So if you like some really nice glam lashes, these are really comfortable to wear. But in current times, like if you guys want them to be a little bit more natural, all you have to do is take a set of scissors and you could kind of thin them out a little bit. And what I'm doing, it's like, you almost get to feel like a little hairdresser. <laughs> so what I do is I take the lashes sideways and I'm just going to snip them down to try to get them to thin out just a little bit. 
So that's one way you guys can customize your lashes is you can, if they're too thick and all of that, just kind of cut them down. So let me see. I'm going to thin them out. You could kind of just play it by sight and say, okay, I want this part to be thinned out a little bit. Okay. So do you see how much thinner they are? Let's try them now. Do you see how they're like super like flirty like that? Cause there's some gaps in there. So it looks to me a little bit more daytime appropriate, I guess you could say versus full glam. Let's thin out a little bit more right there. Okay. Let's do some of that. Okay, let's see what it looks like. There we go. Super, super pretty. Okay, so let's glue these down and we'll do the other side too. So let's actually, I'm gonna cut the edge just a little bit because I want them a little bit shorter. So that's one way that you guys can do it. And then I'll show you another way to do, to cut the lashes. Okay, so don't be afraid you guys to just go to town on your lashes if you ever feel like they're not the style you want. Or if you just, you know, you've worn them a few times, you're like, oh, I want something different and just cut away. <laughs> I'm going to use my Cuda Beauty lash glue that my friend Amy got. Oh, thanks, Amy. She found it. I cannot find this glue anywhere, you guys. It's my favorite glue, and it's always hard to get here in the U.S. So this is the one I'm going to use. Yes, Makeup Geek is trying to work on one. I've got some lab samples here. I'm actually going to try this weekend. I was like, look, if I can't find the right lash glue that I want to make my own. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put the glue on, on the base. And what I do is I just let it sit on the counter right there. It got a little messy, so we're going to clean up with some wipes. <laughs> From Grass Valley, I'm not in California right now, but all of my family is. I'm in Washington, so there's fires in Washington. California, Oregon's really bad. So all of the entire West Coast is so, so bad right now. So, so crazy. Okay, I'm gonna take the other lash. Let's go ahead and do that bad boy. Let's cut these. While I'm doing that, I'll, I'll ch chat with you guys. I don't know why on YouTube it um, has comments showing and then sometimes it just disappears. Okay, so I know that I need to cut off the outer edge. So I'm gonna cut off part of the outer part so they're not as long. Let me see if that's, see if that's right. Still a little long. Let's cut a little bit more. That's what happens when I'm like, if it's not that, it's like kids songs now because we're listening to kids songs in the, uh, in the, <laughs> in the car. <laughs> I have like old McDonald playing in my head. I'm like this is what happens when you have kids. You just listen to kids music all the time. <laughs> Mom life, right? Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm doing the same thing, you guys. I'm just kind of thinning out parts of the lashes. So do you see how it changed the shape? I, I know it seems kind of crazy that you're cutting little bits out of it, but what it's going to do is make it feel a bit more flirty on there. So that's another way to do it. So the other thing I was going to show you guys with lashes is not only the shape. So I'm not going to put these on yet. I'm going to kind of show you two different um, lash styles. So let's see if this is done. Okay, I think it is. So what I'm going to do is take the lashes and I'm going to bend them like this. And then I'm going to hold them in the center like that kind of give them a little shake so that way the um the glue is kind of drying a little bit <laughs> hi from el salvador hi alejandra okay so let's put these bad boys on what do i have going on here what's that what's going on there do you guys see how these are super wispy now Ooh, the glue's not sticking Let's try that again. I think the glue is still a little bit wet, but you guys get to see, you get to see all the mistakes today and how we fix them. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna come down like this. Let's try it again. There we go. 
So sometimes if you don't let the glue sit long enough, they can slip around a bit. So I'm going to try not to touch it too much just because I need them to sit there. Just like that. Okay, so that's one way to cut your lashes and customize them. So the other way, let's try a different lash. Let's do, not these guys. Let me find one that's kind of um, kind of full. Okay, let's try these. So these are the elegant lashes. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to do a three quarter lash. Okay, so let's pull these bad guys out. Hi, Crystal from New York, or New York or North Carolina been a day <laughs> okay so this is one so i'm gonna look a little cray cray for a minute you guys because we're gonna try different lashes but i want to really show you how to customize these okay so what you're gonna do this goes on this side so we're gonna peel these off if you don't like applying full lashes which most people don't because it is time consuming and sometimes it's a pain in the butt to get them consistently even across the thing what i like to do is I like to cut the lashes in half. So here's the lash, I'm gonna cut it in half. And I'm gonna take the inner portion, the inner part, because most people are like, oh, let's put the outer part. No, we're going to take the part that would normally go on the inner part of the eye. Let me trim that little stub. They always have a little stub on there. Okay, you're gonna put this on the outer edge of the eye. So let me show you why because this is shorter, and if your natural lashes really aren't that long, you need it to taper out like that. Do you see how that's gonna look? Isn't that really pretty? It gives you a very elongated look to the eye. So what I'm gonna do, let me show you. Here's the outer edge of the lash. If I was to apply this on, there's, it's not tapered enough. It's just gonna look like someone just slapped a thing on there. We don't want that. <laughs> so let's do this. Let's put our glue down. And then I'll take this off and we'll do the other side so that way they match. How is everyone surviving with COVID and everything going on? I know we've been in isolation or been trying to distance for a while, but are you guys like are you over it by now? Or are you used to this new life? Like what is, how is life going for you guys? <laughs> Hi, Cynthia from Missouri. Okay, I'm going to set this lash down. So we're gonna put this down here da, 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 and I'm gonna do the other side right here. Sorry, I don't know what's going on there. Okay, so I'm gonna peel this off you guys, but did you see how the lash looks different from cutting it like that? Okay, so let's peel that off. Let's do the other one so we're matchy matchy. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. <laughs> Fairy Fam says I can never, um, can never put on lashes, girl, I feel you. I've been doing this for 20 years now and I'm still like, <laughs> hate doing lashes. But this makes it so much easier is when you cut them down and you do like a, a three quarter lash. So it's like easier to manage, so much better. Okay, so there's the inner part of that lash, but we're gonna put it on the outer part of the eye. So let me put this glue down first too. How would you do hooded? Are you talking about like for hooded, um, for lashes for hooded? It would work just the same. As far as makeup goes for hooded eyes, I would keep the color mostly in the crease and up and keep the lid very light and soft so you can see it um, underneath the hooded part. I think I have a video for hooded eyes. I'll have to look that up for you guys. Okay, so there's the lash glue right there. It got a little messy. So what I like to do, let me show you guys. You guys get to see all of my mistakes today. <laughs> Do you see how lash glue kind of got up here? So then what I do is I just take a Q-tip and I'm just gonna clean up the glue on the bottom of the lash so that way it doesn't stick to my full, full lash line. So we're gonna let these chill for a minute while I talk to you guys. Okay. <laughs> uh, Charming Gary says, I'm starting to miss people, but I'm seriously shy. I know, I feel like since we've all been isolated, I feel like my social skills are so bad i feel um like i don't know if i had to go to a party or something i would i don't even know how i would interact with people i feel like i'm just kind of lacking in that area it makes me a little bit sad <laughs> like what is what is this what is going on with life okay hi sarah from france i miss france so much i miss them <laughs> okay while um the lashes are um 
kind of hanging out, drying a little bit. I'm going to take a um, liquid liner and I'm just going to line a little bit. Just like that. I'm going to go all the way in. Just so when I put that three quarter lash on, it's hard to tell where the lash line stops because there's black liner down. I'm going to come up just a little bit. And wing it just like that. So that way we can put the lashes on top. Do, 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 do. Hi, Melissa. <laughs> Hi, G. Hope you guys are doing good. Okay, so we're going to go down here. And let me know, you guys, if you like this time slot for live classes or not. So we can always do during the week, but I figured on Sundays most people are chilling anyways. So let me know which day you prefer. Okay, so I'm gonna start that. And then to do the wing, I just create a little line here and then just connect it. You guys see that? And kind of fill it in. Just like that, okay. I think one of our lashes may be ready. Let's check. Not quite. It's a little slow to dry today because it's so humid in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you still love doing makeup or do you have any new passions? I still really love makeup. I got some new stuff. I got so many new launches. Like I got Rob Beauty Christie's launch, which I'm so excited to try. I got a, a really pretty collection from... Um, Colored Rain. I got her Juicy Boost. I got some lip stuff from um, from Ofra for Gen Love Reviews collab. I got some lip glosses from Seeky. She started her own line. So I, I feel like with new makeup, I always have fun trying it. So my passion's still there. But I've really loved um, gardening this year. I feel like I never used to garden before. And my whole family is like, who are you? What are you doing with this, with this gardening? Because I never used to do it before. So... Are any new foiled shadows coming? They actually are. I just approved a couple this week. So this should be coming out in the near future as well. So I'm really excited about that. Okay. Do you see how much easier it was, you guys, to put that lash on? Because it's not so big. It's an awful strip lash. You just literally set it on there and just let it sit like that. And then we'll put our mascara on in a second to kind of blend the real lashes in with the fake ones. Super simple, right? Really pretty. Is there a gap right there? I think there is. Let me fill in that liner just a little bit. Teresa says I had to learn how to apply falsies during COVID because you couldn't get extensions. I know. I used to do lash extensions all the time too. You know what I noticed is they started to ruin my natural lashes. So I stopped getting them because I felt like, I don't know if it was my imagination, but my real lashes just went, <laughs> they kind of died on me. Okay, let's check this lash. Oh yeah, this one's good. You could tell it's ready when the lash glue is black and not gray. So we're going to put that guy on right there. Just like that. And so you see how it gives kind of a lifted eye shape. It kind of elongates my eyes like that. So I feel like I look a little less tired. So my eyes have been kind of like this lately because I've been so, so sleep deprived. <laughs> Black Jamaican castor oil is a miracle for lash and eyebrows. All right, that's good to know. I'm gonna have to try that. Will these still be available at Target? Yeah, so all of the products I'm using today, except for the palette is just on the site, um, but the lashes are at Target. There we go. Okay, so now let's put some mascara on. I have a new mascara to show you guys. I'm really excited. Let me put this in here. So I have, I don't know if you guys have tried it. It is a pricey one. You guys know I love my drugstore mascaras. But this one from Marc Jacobs has actually been really nice. I've been using it for a few months now, and I really like it. It's a really good mascara. So I'm going to, I'm going to come in here like this, just like that. And then I like to swiggle it at the base and sweep it up. Do you see how that kind of makes the false lashes blend into the real you can't even tell where it starts and stops right 
Yes. Ah, <laughs> oh, good to know, Bammy. <laughs> I just want makeup to be fun, you guys. I feel like it stopped being fun for a while. And so I like doing the lives because it's a chance for us just to hang out and just play with makeup and try different looks. And then I will try to teach you guys something new each week. So that way you leave feeling like, oh, I learned like a new tip today. So that's kind of my goal. So I like to take the mascara and go like this in the inner corner and then turn it sideways to get the whole lash. Just like that. These ones are kind of stuck together because I have that lash glue that kind of got stuck on there. So these lashes are kind of not as good. Not as good as the said. <laughs> there we go. Just like that. Do I have a lash there? What's going on? I do. Okay. The last little bit, if you feel like I still want to touch up under the eyes a little bit. I have such bad dark circles these days. So I'm gonna to touch up one last time with a little bit of foundation under here just to clean that up a little bit more. And then we'll do the lips. So hi, Linda. Hi, Cynthia. I know I haven't done my makeup for so long. I don't think I know how anymore. I know I don't do my makeup as often anymore either because it's like I don't leave the house much, but I'm making myself do it again just because I feel, I don't know. I feel like I just start slacking off and then I just kind of, I don't know. I want to feel put together still, even though I'm working from home. Okay, so I'm doing that, cleaning it up. Super simple, but it like really pretty look. It doesn't take a lot. That was only a few colors. It was just Aphrodite, Cabin Fever, Thrive, and then Legend right here. That was it, just four colors. Okay, let's do something with the lips. Let's do a lip liner. So, hi, Maria from Michigan. <laughs> okay, so let's do kind of a plum lip. I have all of my lip liners right here. I think I want to do, let's do kind of a deep plum color. What is this one? Let's see what this color is. I have some by MAC and some by NARS. Actually, this is really pretty. This is MAC Spice. It's a classic. We love that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to... Get off all of my foundation there. Where is my sponge? If you hear someone at the door, that is Lexi trying to get in, but I'm going to ignore her for now because she will just keep barking and trying to be on camera so she can stay outside. <laughs> okay. So just like that. Let's do a nice kind of spice lip here. I know I've collected lip liners over the years. It's kind of sad. They may be a tad old. I would never use these on clients, but myself I'm like it's fine we'll sharpen it it's good <laughs> okay I kind of like the look where it's like kind of all in 1990s where you have a lined lip but then you have a little bit of gloss on there and that's pretty much it that's what I've been doing lately even though with a mask we really don't get to wear lip stuff much anymore but you know I'm gonna wear it here today <laughs> just like that Okay, so that is MAC Lip Liner in Spice. And then I'm gonna try to, let's use one of C Keys, um, cause she is a, a, a new brand just starting up and she's such a sweet person and she's all about confidence. So she has her lip glosses, Confident is Key, and it is a black woman owned brand, which is amazing. I love supporting her. She's really a sweetheart. So let me see if she has her, um, so this is her, this is C Key. I've known her for a long time. She's so, so sweet. So her um, website is C-Key Cosmetics, like that, C-K-E-Y Cosmetics. So I'm going to use her lip gloss today. This is the color Confidence. Very fitting, very fitting. <laughs> so I'm going to do that color here. That's really pretty. I like that one. That's really pretty, too. Actually, let me try one other color, too. Let's see what some of these others look like. This one's kind of a shimmery one, kind of a peachy. Here's kind of a berry red color. This is amazing. Let me try that one. Let's just do one other color. Why not? Let's have fun, you guys. <laughs> Wonder if there are duochromes on the way too. Yes. Yes, there are. <laughs> I actually have some samples coming next week, which I'm excited about. That color is pretty. What do you guys think? 
Do you like the first loop or second one? Let me know and I'll keep which one you guys like better. That's really pretty. Of course, I'm a little uneven here. Let's fix that. There you go. I have one side of my lip that's always higher than the other, so I always have to compensate for the other one. Second, yeah. <laughs> There we go. So pretty. I actually like that one. I like the red. What do you guys think? What do you think of the look? Yes? No? <laughs> both. Yep. <laughs> I love both, but I would go with the first one. First one, it's split. Some of you guys saying second. Some of you are saying the first one. Second one, second. Okay. All right. I'm gonna leave this on because I already have it on. <laughs> All right, so that kind of is our complete our makeup look. So we can hang out for now. You guys just ask me any questions that you want. Let's chat. Tell me how you're doing. If you have any makeup questions, if you just need to like vent during this year, 2020 is crap. <laughs> uh, check out Britt Clark on YouTube. Yes, I love Britt. I follow her. I don't watch YouTube as much as I should. I would like to. I follow her mostly on Twitter and I love her looks that she does. She does really, really pretty looks. So I love Brit. Hi, Burrito from Venezuela. Uh, thanks, Gina. Baby's the cutest. I know. I would bring her in. I think she's still napping right now. So Tina's asking how the smoke is up here. It's so crazy, you guys. Actually, you know what? Let me let me see if this will flip. I don't think it will. It's it's bad. Like all of I'm looking out the window right here and it looks straight up gray we can't even go outside right now because the air quality is so bad they put out a warning throughout most of washington saying like don't go outside because it's so bad so yes <laughs> tracy says do a class on mascara i get it everywhere i do have one coming actually some mascara videos coming so yes <laughs> oops hold on brit's asking marlena are there any shades in the matrix that resemble the shades in the fall palette yes hold on let me show you so I would say here, let me get out the uh, matrix system. So I would say, Brit, anything in this row here, the plummy row can kind of work for the um, Aphrodite. And then the warm browns like honey badger or cheetah bear would be close to this guy right here. And then legend, I think is in the matrix system. The other one, if you got the original, um, I think legends in here, which is this guy right here. So I would do the green is not going to be um, the same finish. So that green, I think the closest we'd have is Illuminati, which is a little bit lighter. So that's kind of some of the similar shades. It's not exact, but close. So the palette we're selling for $15.99, I think, you guys. So for nine full shadows and then a compact with a mirror um, is pretty good. So we're selling them pretty cheap right now. So that's kind of the palette. The red is very sexy. Thank you. <laughs> can you do a video using this shadow named Medieval? Yes, I can. So I'm going to be doing um, live videos starting um, today, every Sunday. Um, if you guys are okay with that time, I'm going to do um, makeup bingo. So I'm really excited because I'm going to uh, just draw random shadows and just do looks every week with it just to have fun and just play with makeup. So I'm really excited about that. Do you miss California? Dania's asking. I do a little bit. I miss the sunshine because Seattle is so pretty. It's so green with trees, but it's so overcast and it rains all fall and winter and half of spring. So the only good time we get like a lot of sunshine at one time is the summers, which are absolutely beautiful, but I do miss the sun. <laughs> Any bronzer suggestions for fair skin? Actually, the Makeup Geek one on... Hold on, do I have it here? Do I have it? Is the Sunkissed one. This guy. It's for fair skin. Sunkissed fair skin bronzer. It's right here. Here, let me play it so you can see. And then we can still keep chatting. Hey, where did my comments go? Visit us in Montreal. Yes. I, I think it's Heba. Is that how you say your name? Heba or Heba? Let me know how I say it. Um, but I am dying to go to Montreal because they speak French there. I heard that it's like the French version of like a Canadian city. I'm so excited. I'm dying to go, but I don't think Canada is letting us come in. I don't think anyone's letting us go anywhere at this point. Like no one wants Americans right now. Like, no, you keep your COVID butts over there. We don't want you. <laughs> 
Uh, will you be creating additional foil colors? Yes, I have some coming on very soon. I just approved them. Do I have them here? Let me look if I have them here. I don't, they're downstairs in my office. New foils are coming. They're beautiful. <laughs> Would love to see a cool toned neutral look. I've gone to your websites dozens of time and I feel overwhelmed choosing the colors for the palettes. I think if you look on, on the site under the nine well palettes, I think we have a cool tone one there. So yes. Suzanne's asking, how are you still losing your hair? How did you cope and get it to grow? I'm struggling emotionally with hair loss. I am too. So if you guys can see, I talk, I'm very open with my hair loss. I still lose it. That's why I part it on the side is because can you guys see how my scalp is it's kind of thin in here so that's why i part it on the side all the time and let it hang over is because it kind of hides it and then what i use is on hold on i use this root touch-up spray from l'oreal and i just spray it on and it kind of hides my little baldy spots so girl i got you i got you don't be worried about losing your hair. It's okay. It happens to so many of us, especially after I had the baby, my hair just went, just kind of lost it. And then I have um, some extensions in there. So right now I have in, it's actually a full track of hair and then it's just sewn in. So that's like this right here is extension. And then this is my natural hair. So I do that. I know that's not physically impossible for everyone to get extensions done, but they have some amazing clip-in ones at Sally's that are really good too. So I got you, girl, I got you. <laughs> I'm from Australia. Marlene, I'm so hooked on facelift threads and cosmetic procedures, how to stop that. I don't, I've never heard of the threading stuff, but don't ever feel like you have to do any cosmetic procedures. If that's not something you're comfortable with, like, we have to stop thinking that the like ideal pictures on social media, they're all photoshopped to hell is the ideal beauty when it's not. It's it's a adapted version. So be okay on your own skin. <laughs> um, have you tried Kaleidoscope Miracle Hair Drops? I haven't. Um, Flora is asking, what mascara do you recommend? Mine always ends up under the eyes. I Right now, I'm currently liking the one I just used, the Marc Jacobs one. And then my go-to I've always used is the um, L'Oreal Voluminous. They have a waterproof one, which I think will be good and not leak under your eyes at all. So kind of check that one out. And it's cheap too. When do you have time to get ready? I don't often these days, but I'm very fortunate that my mom lives with us and my husband um, works more afternoons and nights. So in the morning, he's able to watch the baby and I'm able to get ready sometimes then. So, but I don't have a lot of time. <laughs> Florida says, hi, are you getting creme brulee back in stock? Yes, I think that's one that's coming soon. I think that, I don't know if that's arriving next week, but if not, it's coming very, very soon. I just approved um, some production samples. So, hold on. Aw, oh, thank you, Sarah, baby. Adelina's adorable. Aw. Vinny next says, if you have super huge eyes, what is the best eyeliner look? Thin or thick eyeliner? Is there better to do a cat eye? If you have super large eyes, I think like a really thick winged cat eyeliner would look really, really pretty. Um, and then if you feel like you're just the opening of your eyes is really large, <laughs> smudge some shadow under here and wear black liner in the waterline and it'll shrink the eyes just a little bit. So yeah, definitely thick cat eyeliner, put some black liner in the waterline and then you're good there. So ladies like, I'm going to go check on my sister. She's like, I smell my dog, my, my sister over there. Lexi's like scratching. <laughs> Anyways, let me see someone. Oh, Oh, uh, thank you, Leanne. Your baby's beautiful. We had ours in the exact same day, only six minutes apart. Are you serious? Ah, oh, congratulations. Yeah, I had her on April 26th. So she's she's a Taurus. She's very much a Taurus. Ah, <laughs> uh, hi, Faris, Mrs. Faris. Hi from France. It's so good to see makeup sessions. Yes. Give France a hug for me. I miss it there so much, you guys. I have on my phone tons of pictures of Paris and all these cities in France because I'm so gutted that I can't go there right now. I love France. Like, I feel like it's like my home away from home. It's my favorite place ever. So give it a hug for me. <laughs> what hair color are you going to do next? I would love to see you in red hair. I don't know if I can pull off red. I tried it once and it doesn't work good for my skin. So I like the purples and plums. I kind of want to do a really um, light, not a platinum blonde, but a light ashy blonde, but I don't know if I can 
get my hair to cooperate because it's very fragile as I'm petting it. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Alicia Harmon. How are you? Nice to see you. Thanks for joining. Are your lashes real? So these guys right here are real, the ones before, and then I'm wearing the uh, half strip lashes right now. So I read enough stuff with Vicky. I love the pharmacies in France. You guys, their skincare, and if you can get your hands on French skincare, it's so freaking good and it's not expensive at all. And they have it at all the pharmacies. It's so, so good. Hi, Aya from Canada. Can you do a purple berry blue based red like a magenta? Are you talking about like eyeshadow or lip color? Let me know. <clears throat> oh, thank you so much, Cynthia. <laughs> Oops, they're going through so fast. Sweet Rita 3 is from Canada. I was wondering if you're expanding your makeup collection to Canada. Yes. I love buying it when I go to Target in the States. Yes. I th we do ship to Canada. Um, we're working on getting a distribution place there as well. But for now, we do ship to Canada. So just email my team and they can probably help you out. So <laughs> hi, Maria. I love your videos. Um, let's see. Mikey is saying my eyelashes always drop down. Whoops, sorry, I gotta scroll back up. Even after applying mascara, even when I curl them. I don't know what a good solution for that is. If you just curl them really, really good, maybe just do a light layer of mascara, not too heavy of one, so it holds the curl a little bit better. They do have, um, at some like esthetician places, they have a lash perming, if you're interested. I haven't tried it yet, but it supposedly is like a perm for your lashes that keeps them permanently curled. I want to try it someday. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what is the best part of motherhood? Amanda's asking. Honestly, seeing her smile when I get her, when she wakes up in the morning and I go in her crib to go get her, she's just beaming. Like she has the biggest, cutest smile. She's so happy to see me. It makes my heart melt. Like every morning, it, that's what gets me up in the mornings is knowing that I get to see her big smile and that she's so happy to see me. I love it. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, so good to hear, Jack. Your story is so encouraging. Thank you. Hi, Javam from India. Is mug going to be in all targets? It's not just in select ones. It's not in every single one. It's in a good number of them though. So yes. Uh, well, I have to run now, you guys, just to go to um, rescue Lexi from tearing my door down and go get the baby because she might be up for now. Go rescue my husband. It's my turn. It's, it's mama's shift. <laughs> Emma Red is saying, how do you email your team? If you go to the Makeup Geek site, just go to makeupgeek.com. At the bottom, there's a contact us button. If you contact them there, email through the site, it goes to my team. So I would do it from there. So anyways, you guys, I hope you're doing great. I hope you're staying safe and healthy and have fun with makeup. Let me know if this time works for you on Sundays and we'll do some more makeup classes um, for now. And then if you guys want to do this look, it's $15.99. I'm not to sound like all like pitchy and stuff, but this is the palette. It's on the sale. We only have a little bit left. Um, and then once it's sold out, it's gone. So it was just a fun little limited edition one for the fall. So let me know you guys what you want to learn in your makeup classes. And I will put that together for you guys. So I'll see you next Sunday at noon PST, unless you guys think that another day is better. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Bye.